Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Uh, this hopefully is going to be a big treat. This is Treehouse Brewing's Triple Shot. This is sent to me by my brother Greg. And whenever you see Treehouse put something in a bottle rather than a can, it usually means it's a special treat. Uh, because they can most of the stuff that they produce. Uh, the note that he sent with me on this says Triple Shop and Treehouse and 9.3% ABV South. He bought at the brewery. He said I reviewed the Double Shot back on review 2866 which had big time coffee notes. Now try the Triple Shot. As I write this it rates number 61 on Beer Advocate's top beer list. With the coffee on this one you might not want to have it right before you go to bed. Mm, that's a good suggestion probably. So. Uh, don't plan on going to bed within the next hour or two so let's see what we have here a very nice looking bottle uh, and of course uh, these guys are up in Massachusetts uh, let's jump over to untap we don't have any IBUs and they're saying it's a 9 percenter instead of a 9.3 percenter so I don't know if they produced this beer before beer advocate says it's 9 percent also but he's telling me it's 9.3%. says do not age, keep cold, and it has 9.3% written on the back label here. So I don't know why they're saying it's 9%. So it's a little bit bigger than a 9%. The commercial description on Untap says, in the year since it was born, Double Shot has earned a reputation around the brew as one of our proudest accomplishments. We have learned a lot about the beer and how it intera interacts with our favorite coffee. This special, exceedingly decadent version is a combination of those efforts. We brewed a bigger base beer than ever to support a huge infusion of coffee. The result is a lavish and complex coffee beer with flavors and aromas of chocolate covered with espresso beans, molasses, and brown sugar cookies, and a rich milk chocolate. It's extreme, supremely rich and perfect as a winter, winter digestive. So it's not winter, it's definitely in the midst of summer here at the end of or middle of June, uh, like June, July, uh, in the 90s outside. So not really what I would think, but they say do not age. Uh, and he uh, uh, picked it up at the brewery. So, uh, I mean, uh, I don't think it's any, anything like a winter warmer and they don't want you to age it since they've, you know, maybe done it with coffee. So. Uh, and I like these beers for the final beer of the evening, which this is for me. So uh, without anything else to go on, we've talked about everything we need to talk about. Let's start pouring. Yeah. So off with the cap. Nice hiss. A little bit of smoke. This is a little bit bigger than a 12 ouncer. I'm sure it was not a cheap beer to buy. Not pouring very much of a head, so let's stand it up and go right straight down the center on this one here, guys. We almost got it all in there. Uh, almost a finger of head on that pour. Pitch black. I'm not getting any light at all through it. Looks very much like a stout. Typically does. To the nose we go. Roasted malt, coffee, little bit of bittersweet chocolate, and molasses. I was expecting more coffee notes uh, on the nose than I'm getting, but they may be in the taste and come out as it warms up, which we will do and always do. It smells very nice, very, very nice. Alcohol seems to be well hidden on the nose. Smells very, very pleasant. Let's nice dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg.
Now the taste, the coffee is there. The chocolate is there. Roasted malt, molasses, may even be some dark fruit in there once it comes up to room temperature. And now I'm getting the coffee on the nose uh, that it's uh, been in the glass a minute or two. Very nice. Big time coffee now. Wow. And that's the thing about it. When you first pour it cold out of the fridge, you don't get a lot of those notes, but as it acclimates and opens up, uh, sometimes those, those, those notes and aromas get really more intense, and that's what's happening with this one. So another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes, it's probably going to be really intense on the coffee. And the bittersweet chocolate, chocolate may become more prevalent, may get some dark fruit notes. So let's, uh, let's do the back end pour before I go off camera. Usually, anything you see that Treehouse does that's put in a bottle usually means something exceptional. Because most of the stuff they do is put in a can. So, when you see a bottle coming out of this brewery, it usually means special. So, it's right out of the fridge, guys. Let's sip on this, let her taste it, and we'll come back and, uh, and see where it ends up once it's up to room temperature. I'm going to sip on it for about 30 to 45 minutes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for quite a while now. Awesome lacing is left on the glass. Look at that. Uh, very, very tasty beer from uh, Treehouse. Uh, exceptional beer, as a matter of fact. The coffee notes are there. They're prominent. I'm getting big time coffee notes. Uh, bittersweet chocolate, roasted malt, hint of molasses, maybe be some dark fruit, plums, dates, raisins, figs in there. Very nice, to me, a dessert beer. Uh, not quite as sweet because I don't think they use lactose in it uh, as it could be, uh, but still a very, very well made beer. Exceptional beer. Uh, very enjoyable beer. And like I said, I don't think this was a cheap bottle of beer to buy. I didn't see any dating on it. Um, kind of wish they would put this in a can because they do have the, uh, the ability to date the cans on the bottom where I could not find any kind of dating on this, but it is a 9.3 percenter. Uh, but they're telling you several places on the label, do not age, do not sell or uh, keep cold, drink fresh. So uh, they don't, they want you to have it fresh and have those big coffee notes rather than selling this beer and the coffee notes have di diminished over time uh, like hops do guys. So if you've got this beer and drink it, uh, get it on, don't sell it, don't age it, uh, keep it cold, very tasty beer, outstanding beer to me guys, very very nice, very pleasant, I'm so grateful that I have subscribers and friends like Greg that send me these wonderful beers that I would not ever, ever be able to try or taste or review for you guys, so awesome beer, if you can get your hands on it, pick it up, you won't regret it, final joke. Very pleasant. To me, guys, I think it would probably be just a tad better if they had used some lactose in it to give it just a little bit sweeter back end mouthfeel taste to it, but it is very creamy. It is medium to thick, full body. Uh, awesome beer. Absolutely awesome, guys. To me, it is a 10 beer. I wish it had a date on it, but it does not. Usually, I deduct points from that, but. Uh, Treehouse usually dates all the cans. I don't know if they have the ability to date this, but it is a nine percenter. It was picked up at the brewery. Uh, I know it's as fresh as it possibly could be coming from Greg. Uh, so, ten for me, guys. Uh, they probably don't have the ability to date the bottles like they do the cans. That machine is set up to stamp those cans as they come through, and not have the ability to do the bottles. And if this was an IPA or double IPA, they would lose a point over it. But being a uh, imperial stout, nah, not so much. But I know I got it fresh. So if you had this from uh, Treehouse, this is a triple shot, a 9.3% imperial stout. Let me know what you think. Uh, 
You got my grade as a 10 over the Bear Advocate. Uh, it is a 4.6 world class. I would not argue with that a bit. It is world class to me. Over to Untap, they have it at 4.56. Awesome numbers from both. So it's awesome numbers from all of us. Uh, a to A plus beer, A plus for me, guys. So uh, so thankful that I get to try these beers, especially from this brewery. Uh, Greg, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it, sir. Like I said, if you've had this, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.